Today we are starting in on the floor project. We're gonna get the uh, underlayment cut, traced. Uh, we're gonna use the original flooring uh, that I bought because this one did not come with that uh, original flooring. We're gonna trace around it and then we're gonna cut it out, put it in here, and that'll be kind of the subfloor. And then we'll go from there. You gotta go with the hug method. All right. There we go. Progress was made. Uh, we got the floor all in. Preview of what the f final floor is gonna look like. The vinyl. It's got a little bit of a wood grain going on. Um, I don't know, I'm going for a really clean, minimalist look. And all the other ones had a lot of wood grain texture going on. This was the one that was the most subtle. It's very durable, and I'm pretty sure it cleans easy. Fingers crossed. That's what I went with. So that's a little sneak preview on tomorrow's project. Okay, it is the next day and we are gonna get going on the vinyl plank floor. Um, I bet some of you out there are face palming that have done this before or that know more about flooring than me because clearly I know this much because thankfully I caught this um, by going back and watching one of my friend's videos but you were supposed to I thought something felt too easy yeah you gotta I gotta go back and redo this because you're supposed to stagger these planks um, for structural strength and I didn't realize that so thankfully I caught it this at this stage before I traced everything but yeah you actually have to stagger stagger them so we're gonna go back and redo that so take two so I think I'm at the point now where I'm gonna get some help to get this flooring on top of there get a nice trace mark out each part and um, get to cutting. It's break time. Apparently I am needing a clean arm right now. Alright guys, it is the next day and I am back at it. Got the floor laid out. So what I did was uh, yesterday I, so I basically just uh, labeled each of the planks and then stacked them in order. So this one was like B8, B7, B6 for back. And then I did like back middle, fr uh, front middle, front, and uh, just numbered them one through eight going from left to right. So that's how I did that. Um, if you don't get to cutting the floor in the same day, if you're going with this method, that's what I did. Worked out just fine. Um, I can clearly see what the order these are in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut each of these with a jigsaw. Um, I have a blade that's uh, geared for cutting wood. 
So yeah, we're just gonna do a lot of cutting of this today, get the floor ready to go, and then I'll just start piecing it in. Uh, once I have it all cut, start placing it into the van. All right guys, here's the progress so far. Um, I actually had to patch this corner. Don't ask how, I just started like layering <laughs> pieces of floor in there and I cut a shape because normally there's this foam piece here that they must have taken out and here. Yeah, you see where it was here. And basically it's that shape. And so I'm patching those so the floor goes flush over the top of it. I think we're on our way. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little piece because I have to do this kind of manually, this corner piece here, and that is 13 and a half from end to end, and that will complete. And then I will kind of manually do this little number, but on that side to go around that corner. document this because this is my best cut. I'm almost finished up here and I'm pretty proud of that. The best one I've done so far, <laughs> but we're almost done. No one's gonna see it, but I'll know it's there and now you will too. Uh, yeah, look at that perfection. Here's where we're at. Still gotta click everything together, but I'm getting all the pieces all cut that need it. Um, however, one thing I completely forgot about, I'm glad I didn't finish clicking everything together and actually installing the floor yet because I want to cut this to see how this goes in because of the door, the latch or whatever. Yeah, the latch right there. So I'm going to clean and cut those and I've had to like cut these to that size so that I can put like a finish uh, a custom trim piece there and then it'll just clean up that edge you won't see any of the edge on here and I'm actually gonna do the exact same thing over here hello Sam on this edge so this you won't even see any of this yeah so that's what's going on anyway so that's where we're at okay so today is the day we put the floor in totally finish the floor let's go my roommate helped me cut that off and so now it's one line we're good to go so this is what i want to share with you that i learned from this process so if you can see and maybe it's because i'm doing white floors there's these little like after they're clicked in there's these little cracks that you can see i think more so because i have a light floor but I didn't know I needed this until I did. If you're doing this flooring, you're gonna need some one of these. I think you can get away without using it, but let me show you what it does. So this tapping block, it's like the littlest thing, but it made all the difference in here because I thought I was doing this wrong um, by not tapping these tight, but basically like it's in, but then you have to like use this tapping block. It's got these little, um, it's got these little edges, these indents and that, just clips on here and then you take a real hammer and you just tap it and it should pull it so it's seamless and so that crack goes away and that's how it's supposed to be see right there in the sun I don't know if you can see that but yeah it just tightens it up so don't forget the ten dollar or whatever it was tapping block
we have a floor. So that was quite the process, quite the learning experience for myself. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We have a nice floor. Should we do a little Sam reveal again? Let's go get him. This will be fun. Sam approves. Sam approves. Nice smooth floor, buddy. Oh, we have a floor. Now we can sleep in here. It's time to move in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, this is actually just a big pre-step to this whole process, but it feels really good to have this part of it done. Really coming along here. Um, what do you think? Come here. Come here. Come sign off with me. We've got uh, we've got a long way to go, but it's coming along. I'm excited. Hope you guys have been enjoying seeing this process, seeing the transformation. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video, won't we? <laughs> see ya.